Hey guys, it's me, Samus Prime, and today we're going to be looking at Darth Vader's TIE um, fighter or interceptor. One of the two. It is ages 7 to 12. Set number is 8017. It's 251 pieces. It's about $50 now. Of course, when I got this, which was a while ago, I've had this set for a while. I just, um, um, didn't have my YouTube account um, for when I got it. I got this when I was like seven, maybe. Um, but this is ex an anniversary set for a uh, Lego Star Wars 10th anniversary. So, this was kind of a hard set to find. And it still is. If you want to get a good deal on it, um, yeah. Or it might have been fifty dollars back when I got it, but I don't know. I got it for Christmas, so prices are not divulged to you during Christmas. Um. Anyway, so let's get right on to the figures. So, guys, about the only con to this set is that we only get one figure. Um. Especially since this is a fifty dollar anniversary set, might have been like forty, thirty, but. Since this is the anniversary set, we should have gotten maybe Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, and maybe Luke. Just so that we could have some more figures in here. So, yeah. Anyways, but this is a pretty cool Darth Vader. I'm pretty sure getting this set would probably be the cheapest way to get Darth Vader. Um... And then this is where I know that we're getting a reprint of Darth Vader um, this summer in honor of the new release of uh, Star Wars Rebels or what will be the new release soon. But anyways, this is your classic Darth Vader. Got a Darth Vader helmet. His scarred face. Um, his robotic kind of printing. No leg printing. Uh, I'm pretty sure he either doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have back printing. So. He is an okay figure. He is Darth Vader, though. If you didn't have him, like, this is my only Darth Vader. So, it's pretty nice to have him, actually. But, anyways. Let's get on to the actual set. Another thing I forgot to add is you do get a red lightsaber with Darth Vader. Alright, now on to this pretty cool set. Um, yeah, I have, since I've had this since I was seven, misplaced part of it. There's supposed to be like a black tile connected under here to for this and also I'll get inside the cockpit but there's a piece inside the cockpit that I uh, had to replace with another piece that doesn't look exactly like it so we'll start with I guess the wings um, yeah sticker detail here the only printed pieces on this set is this piece and this piece the rest are stickers but anyway, so we have a printed piece or a stickered piece there. And basically, the main feature of the set is I'll try to show this to you. Um, there, these wings can move, so that's like his going full speed chasing after someone mode. This is his going at a leisurely space travel position and then that this is his landing position so you can be like gotta get going and off goes Darth Vader out chase down Luke outside the Death Star but um so yeah the wings are pretty nice 
This is a little bit different than um, the TIE Fighters. Um, it's a little bit longer and stuff, so it's not exactly like one. And the other feature of this set is that you can't see them, they, they're masked, but there's two flick fire missiles. Now, they don't go very far, but there's this mechanism that I'll show you. And you just push it, and see, I would rather actually have to flick that, because it does not go far. So I'll show you that mechanism. It's right here. So you just, uh, I'm going to try flicking it. So it goes a little farther. I'll show it to you slowly on this one. You just push it forward and it basically just pushes the flick fire missile out. You have to give it some force to even get it out. So it's not the greatest way to do our flick, your flick fire missiles here, but it works. I do not really like it. Can't find the hole. I'm gonna set you guys back down. Um. So then we'll go on to the top. Oh, we were up there. So up here we have a sticker detail. Again, I lost the other side of this piece, and I'm pretty sure they're both supposed to have the sticker details. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. This piece literally looks like a face. If you look at it correctly, it looks like kind of a half frowning face. But anyways, on the top here, we have um, not a lot of detail. We have this piece, two of these, so that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, this isn't, uh, super big or, like, super need to re be reviewable set. So the last two things I'm going to show you is the cockpit. And we've got, um, this is not the right control panel. Um, so, but basically what we can do is, and also before I put Darth Vader in there, there's one more pretty nifty feature. It's kind of... Hard. There we go. Bring my lamp up closer. If you can see that, this little clip right there. So, what we can do is we can turn this around. Take Darth Vader's lightsaber, stick it by the hilt under it, and there you go. You have your storage device for Darth Vader's lightsaber so you don't have to set it to the side and potentially lose it. And Darth Vader fits pretty good in the cockpit. His cape, he fits nicely with his cape in there. Kind of has to lean forward because his mask is so long. But, um, yeah. Sorry about that, my lamp just bumped it. So yeah. That is Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Pretty good set, but since it's such an old set, um, I don't know. If you want to get it, you can find maybe some good deals on eBay and stuff like that, but I don't know. So yeah, this is my review on... Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Oh, and also, just kidding, I'm not done. We have, you get two red studs to be like blasters. This, and then that top piece up there is a printed piece, so those are some nice printed pieces. But anyways, see you guys.